Now add three 2911 routers. Now let's add three switches. Add to PCs below each switch. Make connection between switch and the two PCs using fast Ethernet cable. And now make connection between switch and router using fast Ethernet to gigabyte cable. Now to connect router to router we will use serial cable. And for that we have to double click on the router and go to physical and then turn it off and then place HWC to T. After placing, turn it back on. We have to do these steps for each router otherwise. We won't be able to connect using serial cable. And now connect each router using a serial cable. And now click on options and then click on preferences. And then select. Always show port labels in the logical workplace. And now connect all the remaining devices. Now I am writing down IPs for each PC. My network for this connection is 192.168.1.0, so the default gateway will be Gateway for the router in the middle will be 192.168.2.1, and the network will be 192.168.2.0. And now in this step, I'm just writing the IPs of the first and second PC which will be 192.168.2.2 and 192.168.2.3. And in this step, 
I'm just writing the network for the third router connection which will be 192.168.3.0. And the IP for the first PC will be 192.168.3.2 and for the second PC it will be 192.168.3.3. Now let's write the IP address for the router to router connection. Here I am using class and network IP addresses but you can use either C or B as well. This is my network 10.0.0.0. And this is my network 11.0.0.0. And this is my network 12.0.0.0. And now I am gonna start assigning all the devices their IPs in the IP configuration. By the help of my notes I have assigned it the IP address and the subnet mask, and the default gateway. Now my router is connected with gigabyte 0 slash 0 So double, click the router, and go to config, and write the default gateway, and subnet mask and turn it on. I have written the IP for the gigabyte connection, but now I have to write down the IP address for the connection using serial 0 slash 0 and the IP address for the connection using serial 0 slash 1. I have finished assigning the IP addresses and subnet for each connection so, now I will repeat this step for all the other routers.
Now our connection is green and, we will able to send messages to the PCs with the same main connection. But if try to send a message from a PC of different main connection to another PC of a different main connection, then my message will fail because I haven't done any kind of routing for it yet. So now to do the RIP routing go to config in router1 and go to RIP and then add all the network it is connected to. And now repeat these steps for all the other routers. And now I can easily send messages from any PC to any other PC. Your package might fail once but once you send it again it will be successfully sent. All my messages have reached their destination successfully. You can even ping other PCs to check the connectivity. All four packages were successfully received and no loss occurred.